What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new vlog. I still have not got any hairspray, but I've ordered some. So it should be coming in tomorrow, hopefully. And today we're starting up the day by cleaning up the garage. And you know what? It's flipping cold outside. I'll tell you that for a fact, guys. Let's turn on the light and see what we got to clean up. There's so much pieces of ladder and Cadillac and stuff like that around this garage. It's unbelievable. So <clears throat> now the time has come that we need to clean all of this up, throw out the boxes and just uh, get the things done up. Flip and heck. This is a lot of stuff. But first I'm going to take the trash out. So I'm going to do that. And Edward is going to come in now. And uh, yeah, so that is the flipping plan for today. But before cleaning everything up, I wanted to check before I forget the oil level in the ladder and to see if it eats any oil. So let's open up the bonnet and see. Shouldn't need to wipe the oil thing because uh, it's chilling. Let's see. Maximum oil and I got some piece of something in it. Oh my God. So yeah, it's over at the maximum so that's good it has oil in it very nice okay i'm gonna go get some gloves in the garage and uh yeah maybe we should heat this ladder up wow this does not have any antifreeze inside whatsoever i'm gonna fill this up as well and then throw out the the carton from it so let's see so yeah today's vlog is gonna be more like a, a vlog doing house stuff yeah, this is barely any antifreeze but it's better than nothing we will need to get more antifreeze for the ladder because as you remember guys when we were doing the hydraulic brake and everything like that um, one of the things blew up and uh, it just kind of went all over the place so let's put some antifreeze in very nice at least it has a little bit of antifreeze but we'll need to buy some more green one to fill it up a bit more oh, i also need to take the tires and the wheels that i bought yesterday and show them to you but first you know what i thought maybe we should uh haven't started a car up for a few days so i thought maybe we should uh, start it up so that uh it warms up a little bit there's just been chilling here been chilling it's getting cold so want that battery to feel a bit better let's flip and pull the choke out a little bit start her up oh wow no thank you i don't need that let's Press the pedal, press the clutch, make it easier to start. Oh. Oh, it's getting cold, so it's harder to start it. Here we go, here we go. Let's have her start it up for a little bit. Get her warmed up, get the battery charged a little bit. Well, I'm gonna get some gloves right now. And we also need to empty out a bunch of stuff out of the ladder. Oh, very nice. Looking good, looking flipping good. Oh my God, guys, it's snowing. Look at my jacket. I turned on the ladder and it starts snowing straight away <laughs> look at this flipping snowing do you like snow yeah who doesn't like snow my birthday uh in um, january no january you like know january ah, january yeah january <laughs> what the heck is wrong with the ladder should i not try it <laughs> I, I came closer and stopped. Oh, that, that was a bit weird. 
holy macaroni it's absolutely flipping snowing outside look at edward's jacket there's snow everywhere yeah flipping heck maybe it's gonna snow so bad that we're gonna drift the ladder today i don't know So Edward is fixing up his ladder, but he's gonna try out one of the colas. Okay. Let's see. This was uh, after the test. I should be gone. No, the one that's for the moment. It's the gone off one. Thank you, thank you, so now we're cleaning up the oil. We cleaned up this whole area. Edward is trying to burn my house by putting petrol, but he said that this. So let's hope it works. Let's hope it works. My camera is just dying every single second. Guys, look what I got. Look at those studs. They look brand flipping new. And this is the rims. Looking knocking tires. Flipping awesome. So guys, it's absolutely flipping freezing outside. It's like, I'd say minus one degrees right now. You could see the steam coming out of my mouth. We brought the ladder over here because we're gonna try to cut the back springs of this car because you see we cut the front ones and it's like slanted down and we need to cut it to make it more harder in the back. That is what we need for a bit of drifting so that is exactly what we're gonna try to do ourselves. Maybe I'll need to straighten up the car a little bit. I don't know yet. Maybe I do to make it uh, more to that side. Edward has found a charger for his thing and now we're gonna unscrew the back wheel ah, and we got the wrong we got the wrong flip and let's go to the garage uh -huh. F1 this is F1 pit stop right here look at that professional <laughs> professional okay we need to cut this Without removing it. Check this out. Oh, very nice drifting. Ivan drifting. <laughs> oh, Whoa. yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. About to explode. Very good. Very flipping good. Guys, check this out. This is all ice. Literally, ice. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Very nice. Tomorrow, we're gonna go on a big looking trip. neck how we're gonna get oh we're getting we, it took us five minutes to do what i was quoted for 20 bucks so we did one side i cut the spring off now it should be more level and looking even better so let's flip in uh get this part up edward is already screwing everything in and i want to do this exact same thing on the other part of the car and then we have our drift mobile and also check this out come here i already showed it to you guys but look at this flipping nice little looking winter tire look at it whoa wow and also this is ussr hubcaps i could even put the silver thing right here in the middle so it would look like a flipping soviet car very nice and evelina is the camera woman right now being absolutely beautiful as always and guys have you already pressed the like button or not because i'm seeing that you still haven't pressed the like button or subscribe you don't want me to send you naked edward over to your house so that he will press the like button with his willy right edward yeah, exactly. You put it For heavy artillery, let's get this ladder flipping done. If you need to cut some springs, contact Sanctioned Ivan Mechanic LLC. We will cut your <laughs> springs for you. Go to the country. 
Well, you know what? The day has begun in the exact same video you're still watching. So it's two vlogs in one vlog. I mean, two days in one vlog. Because yesterday we were just doing some house stuff, you saw it, and uh, yeah, we're going over to Tula to see some awesome places. Because last time when we drove the Lado over there, we didn't really do any research about the town. So a lot of you have commented that they have great museums and stuff like that and great interesting places so we're gonna go and check them out but first we're gonna pick out Edward Okarevelina looking like a leopard very nice <laughs> so we have picked up Edward and uh, me Edward and Evelina are gonna go on a road trip or 177 kilometers over to Tula and we're gonna explore it a bit better explore it for what is actually famous for so guys type in the comment section below what do you guys think the city is famous for tell me tell me let's flip and go so Edward told us that that right there behind those trucks were made covid hospitals over there so yeah when uh there was the covid it was like a very big thing now those were covid hospitals well guys what a nice trip look at this my tire is nearly flat i got it burst somewhere and i have no idea where flipping egg guys look at this look at this this is unbelievable and we're just a few meters from the place where we're gonna get it fixed it like came off right here so i stopped straight away we're uh, broken down now well we got our tire fixed up and now it's being rolled on Stopped in the middle of the road like a legend. Very nice. But I just didn't want to drive to ruin my disc. So guys, we got the wheel fixed up. Now we're going. Flipping, leaving the place now. Anyways, let's continue our journey. That was $4 because we're away from Moscow. So now we can continue our journey. came over to the gas station right now and Edward needs a hot dog because he likes big sausages oh look at this you could buy uh, military rations here and military drinks very nice this is actually really good no joke remember this drink oh, wow that's expensive though <laughs> Edward got a hot dog we're all eating hot dogs right now Look at Edward eating a hot dog. Look at Evelina eating a hot dog. And look at me. Look at this sausage. Looks very nice. Anyways, we have like a 40 minute journey left over to the city. So, what an adventure. Well guys, we have arrived over to Tula and we came to the Museum of Weapons. They have a bunch of tanks here with the known letter where would you see something like this in person you would see it from the sanctioned Ivan spy LLC very nice so you could see a bunch of tanks but that does not interest us what interests us the most is the inside because Tula is well known for making weapons I think the, one of the most famous pistols is made here it's called TT it's made from Tulski Tokarev I think so we got Edward right here let's go in so we're about to enter it says Tula Museum of Weapons absolutely freezing outside so we came into the museum right now and the amount of school kids here is unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable it's like loud in here but it looks very cool this is uh, quite interesting 
check out some tool guns from Tula. 40s, 60s, His Majesty Lifeguards Regiment and Private Curis. Wow. Some old flip and rifles, if you ask me. Oh, this is really cool. Some muskets, I think. Sweden, second half of the 30s. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Just a bunch of muskets. And some cool looking pistols as well. Look at this. That's like a flipping revolver type of looking thing. Looks like something handmade. That definitely would explode in your hand. Holy cow, guys. Check out this flipping rifle. Imagine. Well, when was this? This is US rifle. M1868 rifle with bayonet. Oh, this is not it. Hold on. This is number 14. Number 14. They don't even have the number. But there is uh, an American rifle somewhere here. The number 8 over there. So that rifle over there is American. We've got some American rifles here. Oh, wow. Made in Russia. 1877. Imagine that. Caliber 20 millimeters. Would that be shooting at you at 1877? That would not be funny. This is in general very interesting. Look at the amount, about a bunch of revolvers right here. Wow, some rifles. But what interests me the most is, holy macaroni, look at this. <laughs> what is this, Edward? I don't know. Big gun. <laughs> look at it. Edward, we could take this and make one in the house. Oh, this was on the ships. You can see there is a... Uh, painting of a guy or a photo of him shooting very interesting we got a bunch of school kids following us and telling us to leave but we're here doing a mission looking at weapons let's check it out right here what do we got here what is this Mossin rifle I think it is I don't know Ooh, Maxim gun I think this is Maxim gun Hold on, number 20. Who made this? Yes, Maxim gun. Maxim medium machine gun mod 1905. I know my guns. This is Maxim gun. In Belarus, Bunker, remember? Yeah. Bunker, Belarus. Yeah. Yeah. This was there. Yeah? Yes. Flip and Ivan the historian. <laughs> Guys, check this out. There's a bunch of uh, German pistols here. Look at it. There's a bunch of them right here. They could have made it uh, be able easier to read. They have a thing like here. But I know one of them is a Walter PP pistol, I think. Wow. Some German pistols. <laughs> Very interesting. A bit of German pistols. Oh, the, the machines? What? Oh, this is how they build the guns. Wow, very interesting. Look at this. This is how they would be making the guns. This lad is uh, making a gun or reading a newspaper or a paper. I don't know. Very interesting. Now you got your classics. You got a bunch of double barrel shotguns right here. And there's some Belgium ones, German ones. Oh, nothing better than a double barrel shotgun. If you got an intruder in the house, you get in, say this is my house right here. Wow, this is very cool. So look at this guys, this was made in Tula and uh, actually looks very cool, like the wood is made. This is all made in Tula right here. Look at this, International Exhibition, 1876 Certified Award, Imperial Rifle of Manufacturers, Tula Military Arms, United States Centennial Commission, Philadelphia, September 27th, 1876. Could you imagine that? That's crazy. So they would have came over from Tula to the United States to an arms exhibition, show it off, and the Americans would be like, wow, that's flipping awesome. So that's how they got it. That's flipping awesome. And 
<laughs> what the heck is this? This is like a hand cannon right here. Look at it. So that's that that probably has a bit of recoil. It put a ball inside and it would shoot out. That's a hand cannon right there. Straight up. Flipping interesting. Wow. A bunch of weird looking guns, but it's interesting to look at it. Very interesting. Like look at those small pistols. This small pistol, like up here, is pocket flintlock pistol out of Europe. Flipping heck. Imagine shooting one of those. This looks dangerous to shoot out of your hand. Would this be like a weapon of, uh, you know, when you need to uh, go on a duel or something like that? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, there's dual pistols right there. The number 33. I think this is just for a bit of self-defense, you know? When you're, uh, when you're stuck with your enemy, you need a small pistol like that on your ankle or something, you know? Like in the Sopranos, they'd have a small ankle pistol on the ankle. Oh, look, Ottoman Empire type of stuff right here. The Turkish people would be walking around with this. Very interesting. Oh, but this is cool stuff. This is uh, Turkish stuff. This is Edward stuff. Look at this, guys. Electronic puzzles. Doesn't work. Very nice. Technologies. Very nice. You can see people playing a bit of puzzle games. Anyways, let's flip and go downstairs and check the rest of the museum out. This is quite cool. Very interesting. Well, here we are on the next floor of the museum. We got some Great Britain Enfield Vickers and Sons Maxim. What? This Maxim gun, English? Guys, tell me in the comment section below. Did uh, the English and the Soviets work on a Maxim gun together? I don't know. But you got your. Uh, Colt medium machine gun, USA. Very nice. Wow. French as well. Bunch of machine guns right here. This is like First World War. Deutsch Waffen. Very nice. Let's see what's down there. There's uh, some expositions right here. We can see what's going on. You got a Maxim machine gun right here. Let's see this guy. Flipping egg, the amount of kids here. We gotta get out of here. Guys, we're gonna see the weapons that you could actually touch yourself. Look at this. You can touch it. And this is how you would fire it, I think. How do you fire it? I think you press this button. Oh, this is how you fire it, I think. Bang, bang, bang. I don't know. I don't know how it works. So right here we have some kid playing with a gun, pointing at him. Very nice. Very nice. You got uh, different type of stuff here. Like this machine gun again. We're trying to touch some weapons right here. But there's just crazy people touching stuff. Look at Edward. Wow, flipping heck, look at Edward, whoa, 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 safety is the number one priority, oh, it's welded, flipping heck, it's welded, what do we got here, a broken revolver, Nagan, and it's broken, you can't even do anything, what am I supposed to do with this? Brazil. Look at Edward. Brazil. Gangsta. Ah, what is he doing? What are you doing? Well guys, there's a lot of interesting things. <laughs> oh, this is this pistol, I think, is a Tokarev. TT Tokarev, I think. It's a Belgian. Be oh, that's a Belgian one? Look at this. So, 
Чикаго, модель 903 года. Browning pistol. Well, this looks more like a Colt or something. Look at that. No recoil whatsoever. Very flipping cool. You know what uh, interests me? Check this out, guys. There's something quite interesting right here. What the heck is those pistols? Look at this. Oh, it's signal pistols right here. So you would uh, show where you are. Wow. This is interesting. Wow, some weapons right here. No idea what it is. Oh, this is a rock, little rocket launcher right here. And the weapons that they would uh, probably use. That's a Australian soldier, I think. Oh no. Infantryman in Russia. What is this, 18? Where's number 18? The way that they put the descriptions of things is just weird. Wow, look at this. Edward. Oh, very cool, yes? Yeah. Wow, I wonder what is this? Webley Scott Mark I flare pistol. It's a big flare pistol. Very, very big. And a bunch of pistols right here. What's going on here? Check this out. Looks like a uh, office of some sort. The office of the commander of the Tula Arms Plant. The beginning of 10th century, I think. I don't know. Look at this. Very interesting. Check this out, guys. We've got a PPSH right there. In Russia, we call it Papa Shah. Uh, that it is. It is what it is. And then you got your Mauser. And yeah. I don't know how they numerate this. It says number one. There is no number one. There's number eight here on this side. So you have to like walk around. God knows where the description is. Whoever made this museum did a good job, but not on explaining a few things. But this is still very flippant interesting. Oh, check this out. Here we go. Here's the Tolski talker right here. Number 14. Looks very nice. You want one of them being strapped with a Tolski talker app, which actually looks like a copy of an American Colt. Anti aircraft machine gun. Look at this, Edward. Mortar. Shooting. This. You drop it in, and it hits bottom and goes. And it goes. Plane. Huh? Plane. No. Check this out. This is how the guns were made in 1941. So you got your machinery right here. You know, making stuff out of metal. This guy looks like is uh, measuring out a barrel or something like that. And he would work on this machine right here. It says first Tulin factory. Very interesting. Wow, look at this Soviet dugout, uh, which was recreated. Wow, this is how the Soviet soldiers would have been living during the Second World War, in a dugout. Guys, check this out, I found a room here, which has probably a lot of propaganda in. Look at this. Look at this, guys. This is literally, like... All about the situation happening right now. Sniper rifle right here. OSV 96. And it has a huge silencer. So this is how it looks like, guys. So basically there's some Donbass magazines or something. I don't know. The Rose of Donbass. Heck. So, uh... You could see the stuff I'm guessing that they're using right now. So you got the AK-102, AKS, AK-47 right here, AK-74U. Oh, what's uh, I don't even know what it is. This looks like an AUG, kind of, but it's an OC-03 Dragunov sniper rifle. This is uh, the outfits. Sober, which is like kind of like SWAT. Oh. 
So this is uh, what they, they showed people. Some uh, stuff talking about what's going on right now. That um, you gotta defend the motherland and stuff like that. This is basically what this guy on the television is saying right now. Wow. So this is uh, a part from the museum right here. And also here you could see what you would have in the medical bag or something like that. And then some pistols. You got the, I don't know what this is, pistol G G18, Stechkin pistol, and the classic macro pistol right here. And uh, this is some uh, armor plates right here. Wow. Still very interesting to see this because uh, this way you could see what each side is showing and uh, the fact that you know you have photos of uh, the Germans on one side, the Russians on the other side, the Soviets on the other side. So they're mixing everything together, saying that the same, like the victory of the Soviet Union. Then you got your new soldier right here. They're spicing things up and mixing it together and trying to get people to go and defend and to be patriotic. Holy cow guys, check out those weapons right here. This is like what they put on tanks, aircrafts and stuff like that. Flipping crazy. Is this working? We can even put it in English, I think. Nope. Oh wait, it worked. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, this this is so bad. It doesn't really work. Anyways, those are one heck of big guns if you ask me. I just lost Evelina. Where is she? Викторина. Викторина? Что? Мне сюда надо Это один должен. А за что? Это один должен. Что это? Вот так из Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Looks exactly just like me. I don't need email. Не надо это. О, мой бог. О, вау. I think this is the first AK-47 right here. I think it is. This doesn't even work. But uh, this is the first первый Kalashnikov. First AK-47. You see, they made the foldable stuff, and then you got your. Uh, what else do you have? What is this guy doing? Flipping neck, we need to move out of here. There's too many kids here. Get out of here. Look at this. Some Apollo station type of stuff. You got your uh, Americans right here. Very cool. From the Apollo mission. Wow. You got a robot right here. Holy cow, look at this. What is this? SH Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Who was that for? Number five. Number five. Two arms. But who is this? Who is SH Khalifa bin Zayed? This is Gangsta Kalashnikov. Right? Gangsta Kalashnikov <laughs> right here. Holy macaroni, look at that. Anyways, I'm getting surrounded by the kids. We gotta move. We gotta move. When they see that somebody has a camera, they surround you. Guys, you know what I just Googled? Who this belongs to? And it belongs to Khalifa bin Zayed Al Anyan. Sheikh Khalifa was the second president of the United Arab Emirates and the ruler of Abu Dhabi, serving from November 2004 up to, I don't know when, 2022. Look at this. So he had a silver plate at Kalashnikov. Holy cow, that's actually pretty cool. He had some style. Who wouldn't want? I don't want a gold-plated Kalashnikov, that'd look cool. 
This is the first Kalashnikovs, I think, maybe. Oh, Evelina is calling me. Evelina said she... Wow, this pistol looks beautiful. Wow. This looks very cool. Evelina said it looks beautiful. It actually does look beautiful. Slip and cool. Evelina is gangster. She's a mafia also. <laughs> mafia. Guys, you gotta be careful with Evelina. She's the mafia. Look at this. This is what I need. If somebody comes to your house, you use this. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. That's it. Holy macaroni. What is this? Whoa. 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 We also got some spy pistols right here. At the pistolet. Look at this. Small pistols right here that you would have not known what it is. Now, this I think is a VSS Vintores right here and it has a uh, thermal vision scope on it. Holy cow, why is everybody screaming here? What's going on? What's going on? What is this rifle? I think this is uh, uh, the ones that they go on skis and then shoot. Very cool. Just a bunch of AKs in this room. Look at this. AK, 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 AK. Dragonov. And then you got more AKs. Oh, look at this silver pistol right here. I like when they look silver. This looks pretty cool. Bike cow. Oh. Wow, look at this. It even has some art on it. And a bunch of revolvers right here. Look at this guys, there's a helicopter cockpit. And what do you need to do? Отойти подальше. What? Отойти подальше сейчас. Why? I don't know. Because I'm probably working. Ah. Very interesting. I have no idea. Like this is how, not how you sell places. She said the information is here. Ah, thank you very much. Ural! 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 It's Dnepr. Yeah. Dnepr. Yeah. It looks the exact same to me. Whatever. We just walked out of the museum. And these are just not just standing around. Those are all simulators where you could go inside and uh, you put VR glasses on and you have to press like all the buttons and stuff. That's actually pretty cool. But probably pretty bad at the same time. We got Edward, he's got himself a drink and he's running after us. So after visiting that museum, we need to learn how to make that cookie, the famous Tula cookie ourselves. So we're gonna try to find a place where we could do so. So we think we found a place over at the Tula Kremlin, which is the Tula Fortress. So that is exactly where we're going right now. And uh, hopefully, we're gonna be able to do it there. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to make the cookies ourselves because we called every single place in this town and they said they're all booked out. Should have called earlier. Anyways, we came to the store that we came in before to buy some cookies. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're here. Здравствуйте. Look at all of this. So we bought a bunch of gifts for our families and stuff like that, the cookies, because they're awesome. So now we're gonna go eat some food and drive back home because we wanted to bake some, but it's impossible. So it is what it is. Now it's time to get some food because we barely any had anything except that hot dog and a bit of breakfast in the morning. And we got the popos right there. This is how it looks like. And this is how Edward looks like. So we came over to the place where we've eaten when the chef came out and they started cooking a steak for us. So we're going back to this place called Mamma Mia to get some snacks before we leave Tula.
Very nice. Well, what's going on here? <laughs> so guys, we made it over to Mamma Mia. I ordered some mushroom soup, a burger, and some fries. Gonna have it. And then we're gonna go on a trip back over to Moscow. Right now, we're gonna drink a bit of coffee. So guys, finally got my onion soup. Edward got the same. Evelina got some borscht. Sour. She also got some pork. Uh, it's like fat and she's got some onion and a piece of bread Let's see how it is Looks nice You put a bit of onion in it or whatever it's called Now it's time to try out. Look at this spoon. Mm, onion soup is good. What is this? <laughs> Mushroom inside. Actually, not bad. Mm. Guys, just check out this burger. It looks flipping amazing. The fries are good. Barbecue sauce is good. I'm not going to record this eating because I know it's going to be good. For a fact, I'm going to be putting some gloves on so I don't get my hands dirty. <laughs> this is some good stuff. So we came over to one of the shopping malls here. And uh, yeah, looks like this. Well, Edward. <laughs> but it looks like this. This is the shopping mall. Very nice, very small, and very cozy. Look at this, guys. So we're walking around the place right now. And there's a bunch of Russian flags all over the place. Looks very patriotic, Edward. Very patriotic. And he's going to go over to New Yorker. Because I'm walking here. I don't know why I want to go home. But we're not going home. We're going over to New Yorker. Very nice. <laughs> so guys check this out you could even buy something for a dollar and 29 cents some women's stuff skirts topics what it is one dollar 29 cents very nice very nice edward broke my auxiliary wire for uh music in my car so now we gotta find a new one where the heck is it absolutely no idea well, Edward has found the right one. Very nice. Well, it's time to leave Tula right now. It's 7.18 and I want to do a live stream today. So we're going to be racing back home right now. Got myself a coffee as well for the road. So we came to a memorial. It is the memorial, I'm guessing, of the Second World War. Well, I'm not guessing. It literally says 1941 right there. Hold on, I brought my light with me, so bear with me. Got the light right here. Last time we passed this place, didn't visit it. Some true heroes, honestly, because uh, you cannot forget how many lives were lost in the Second World War in the fight against the Nazi Germany. So you can see 1941, it's a monument. There's an airplane there and an airplane here. You could see it. Wow, this is actually a really cool looking monument, if you ask me. And then you have the the fire that is always on right there let's go check it out you got the big russian flag being waved down there hopefully you guys can hear me but absolutely freezing here wow look at this it says the heroes of the land and then it says um basically that nobody has forgot about them 
so this is the fire it's always on basically and uh, there's a few names right here all around the wall of the heroes and here we have some uh, I don't know how you call it like a statue in a wall with an airplane I'm guessing that there was a lot of pilots from Tula probably so that is why uh, this is basically like a airplane Second World War memorial here very interesting my great-grandparents have fought in the Second World War from my uh, mother's side my grandfather was a mechanic for the tanks and my gra great grandmother was a sniper and they were uh, I think in Stalingrad so that was one heck of a hellhole back then mission successful we finally arrived back home Ponching is licking a bag for no apparent reason anyways guys press the like button I would really appreciate it and if you press the subscribe button I would also appreciate it I still see you haven't done it so please subscribe to the channel and if you enjoy this video please leave a comment as well tell me what you would like to see in russia as well and uh, have a great day thanks for watching and have a great day again and have a great day have a great day have a great day nothing better than a great day see you later guys